Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel for Tio Party of Four. Today I'm going to be making a pumpkin dip. I made this um, <clears throat> at Thanksgiving and it was a big hit. My dad absolutely loved it. My mom loved it. I loved it. It was so good. So we are doing a dip miss party tomorrow with some of my friends and family. And so I'm going to show you guys how I make a bunch of different dips, starting off with this super good pumpkin dip. So I am doubling this recipe. Um, if you want just a small batch, just do one can of pumpkin. If you would like to double it, you're going to need two cans of pumpkin. Very minimal ingredients. You don't need a whole lot to make this, which is really nice. Okay, there's one can of pumpkin. What is the difference? There are two different shades of pumpkin. They're both the same. I don't know if you can see, one is darker than the other and I bought them at the exact same time. So that's interesting. Okay. You need, if you're doing one, just one um, pack of vanilla pudding mix. I'm doubling this recipe, so I'm gonna put two packs of vanilla pudding mix. And it's just the mix, not the actual pudding. <clears throat> okay. At this point, I'm going to just mix these together before I put the other ingredients in just to get that pudding mix really kind of stirred up. Next thing I'm going to add is some pumpkin pie spice. Just eyeballed that. Um, I think the original recipe said it's either one or two teaspoons for a single batch. So I just eyeballed about three teaspoons there. already starting to smell very good. You could add more or less depending on how strong you want your pumpkin flavor. Okay, now next ingredient is Cool Whip. I am going to be doing two containers of Cool Whip. Mm, so good. Two containers of Cool Whip because I am doubling the recipe. If you are doing one not doubling it and just one, do one. You just need one container of the Cool Whip. The whipped topping. And I'm just gonna mix this in a little bit here. And then get the other one. This is what makes it super just like fluffy. Okay, that is one container of Cool Whip done. Clean up my mess a little bit here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the second one in and then get everything stirred around. I don't have a lot on the top. Don't want to waste any Cool Whip. Oh, 
oh my gosh. I didn't think one would quite be enough, but oh my gosh, two makes a ton. <laughs> might have to have my husband help me stir this up actually. I had surgery on my wrist about two weeks ago and there's some things still that kind of bother it. Lots of stirring. <laughs> you want to make sure you don't have any clumps of that pudding mix on the bottom or anything. You could also do, if you're diabetic or something, you could do the sugar-free Cool Whip and you could do sugar-free pudding mix. kind of make this recipe your own. And then what we used to dip at Thanksgiving was like Nella wafers. Sorry, you guys can't see me very good. Nella wafers, um, Teddy grams, graham crackers, anything like that would be really good to dip in. Okay, we are just about done. Here is what it looks like. I am gonna get something to do a little taste test. Let's see. I got a I think the open pack of graham crackers. Mm. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more pumpkin pie spice, but it's so good. I want it just a tiny bit more pumpkin-y. Right now it's just a tiny bit too much Cool Whippy. I want it just a tiny bit more pumpkin-y. Just be careful with the pumpkin pie spice. You can do too much. So I would suggest just doing a little bit kind of at a time until you get that perfect pumpkin pie type flavor. that good I'm gonna do another taste test here in a second but that is the pumpkin dip stay tuned guys I'm going to be making a buffalo chicken dip spinach and artichoke dip hot chocolate dip um chili cheese dip dunkaroo dip and a brownie dip and I'm going to try to record videos for all of them and also show you them at the end at Dipmas. so stay tuned and I will see you guys next time bye everyone